Science is an ever-expanding field, with new innovations and discoveries being made every single day. A lot of the extraordinary things scientists find are incredibly helpful and even revolutionary, but there are some that just confuse people. Most of these bizarre discoveries have left scientists and common people struggling to understand what they mean or how they are even real. It's also quite daunting to think that there are a lot out there that we don't know about. In today's video, we'll tell you all about some terrifying discoveries made by scientists that no one was supposed to see. So make sure you watch till the end and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Creepy Confusion Many people believe that most animals possess an innate sixth sense and are able to foresee events that might threaten their lives, and this belief has sparked a wave of fear among many people, especially after they witnessed this strange herd of sheep in Inner Mongolia, China. This flock of sheep living in a farm just suddenly began marching in a circle on the 4th of November 2022. They were walking in a perfectly formed circle and eventually the entire flock joined this bizarre march. The puzzling behavior of these sheep wasn't short-lived, in fact, they kept going on and on in a circle. On the twelfth day of the continuous marching, almost everyone was convinced that this wasn't just a fad. A few experts said this circling could be a sign of the fatal disease listeriosis, but this herd of sheep looked like they were in good condition even after twelve days of unending marching. Listeriosis is a deadly disease that generally kills within two days. So far, there's no reliable explanation for this mind-boggling conduct of the sheep, the scientists are worried that it could mean something bad is happening. Inverted Temple The Queen's Stepwell, or Rani Kivav, is a magnificent ancient Indian building that is standing upright even today. All the ancient Buddhist temples used to have distinctive shapes, but Rani Kivav was unique in this respect. It is a Simlekta replica of a Buddhist temple, but it's upside down and curved downwards. The temple is reportedly at least 1,000 years old and boasts more than 200 pillars. It's decorated with beautiful and intricate artistic patterns and inscriptions. Scientists believe that this temple was both a holy site and resource for the ancient civilization, as there was a freshwater pool at the bottom of the temple from where people probably got water. The temple was covered with mud by the local floods and remained abandoned for hundreds of years until the highest pillars were discovered in 1940. After excavations, the temple was fully restored in 1986 and was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. 20,000-year-old Transformer This 20,000-year-old discovery might just be the evidence we needed to prove that the ancient civilization might have discovered electricity thousands of years ago. This strange stone, having four symmetrical insulated holes on one side where cables and receivers could be plugged in, is actually 20,000 years old. It also has copper coils in order to function as a transformer. The most alarming thing about this discovery is that the stone and copper look like they were intermolded instead of being connected. This means that the ancient humans who built this bizarrely ahead of their time artifact were somehow able to melt stone around the copper and thereby had formed a strong durable transformer that could produce electric charge. Snappy Plant Biologists have discovered many unique carnivorous plants in the past, but this new one is quite fascinating. These aquatic plants are called bladderworts, and so far scientists have identified around 240 different kinds of these plants. Their remarkable speed is what sets them apart from other carnivorous plants. Bladderworts mostly inhabit watery areas and feed on tiny crustaceans, tadpoles, and larvae. In fact, these terrifying plants can actually consume little crabs. The plant utilizes the pressure difference in the water to simulate a lightning strike. As soon as it detects movement, the leaves snap and form a vortex that sucks the prey into a slow, suffocating death. This is an incredibly rapid process, and the quickest recorded one took only 5.2 milliseconds. Exploding Toads Back in 2005, a tiny pond located in Hamburg, Germany fell victim to a horrific pandemic. There were exploding toads everywhere. The locals were quite confused by the discovery of toad corpses that looked like they'd blown up. More than a thousand exploded toad bodies were found around and in the pond. When they were investigated, a biopsy revealed that they did not suffer from any fungal or viral infection. Scientists even tested the water but found nothing consequential. No one knows for sure what caused these toads to explode, but some experts believe crows might be the culprit. Crows enjoy eating toads, and they probably found a way to peck between the chest and abdomen of the toads, causing them to puff out. Another reason this seems plausible is because the livers of these toads were missing. However, scientists are still trying to figure out what prompted this strange one-time phenomenon. Indian Magic 
The common belief is that humans developed the ability to fly propelled quite recently, but some very persuasive ancient manuscripts found in India tell us a whole different story. If these manuscripts are to be trusted, flying technology played a significant role during ancient times. Ancient India actually contains hundreds of independently written books and scrolls, and strangely all these scripts describe in detail an advanced flying machine called the Viminos. It was capable of moving independently and quite few people think that it was some sort of alien technology. It was allegedly brought to Earth by the prehistoric extraterrestrials mentioned in these books. Weirdly, all physical evidence of this flying machine just disappeared at some point in history, so now they're only considered a part of fiction and folklore. According to legends, these were also used in nuclear combat beside flying. Patagonia Two-Headed Giant Giants have been part of human history and folklore, but actual evidence proving their existence is quite scanty. This mummy of a Patagonian giant is a whopping 12 feet long and has two heads. It's undoubtedly the most intriguing discovery in recent history, particularly because Patagonia actually holds a reputation for being the country of giants. There are detailed stories of encounters between researchers and giants in the country. This huge mummy was discovered in South America and was taken to London for analysis. So far, scientists know very little about this mummy, but it's on exhibit in a museum located in Baltimore, Maryland. Experts are still trying to figure out if it's legit or a well-constructed prank. What do you think? Puma Punku Puma Punku is a fascinating ancient site that blew the minds of archaeologists and scientists. It's home to some of the oldest stone structures in the world. These huge megaliths were allegedly well established when the Incans found them. The mysterious location contains massive stones that weigh hundreds of tons. They're standing upright even today and look like they were either intricately carved or cut by the ancient people. The precise angles and smooth cut of the lines have led experts to speculate that diamond tools were most likely used to cut these. Even modern technology fails to live up to the accuracy and sophisticated expertise used in construction of this strange monument. Experts have discovered homes and irrigation structures under these stones that indicate people actually inhabited and lived here. Ancient Automation This doll-like figure is actually an old mechanical replica of a stern monk. This sculpture can actually move its mouth, arms and body as it sits in a quiet prayer. The science behind this automated monk is hidden under the hood, but even detailed examination and analysis by scientists has failed to reveal the mysteries of this tiny doll. The interior and exterior of the monk both move and were created intricately. The origin of this automated sculpture is still unknown, but according to legend it was created by a Spanish clockmaker employed by the Emperor Charles V in the 1560s. Ancient Batteries This discovery suggests that batteries are not a modern innovation. Ancient civilization had allegedly developed batteries back in the first millennium BC, and the current battery cells are actually based on this concept. Ancient Indian scriptures have described how to build a functional electric cell in detail. To build one, an earthen pot, a copper plate, copper sulfate, wet sawdust and zinc amalgam were required. These ingredients were used to build this antiquated cell. These batteries could not produce electricity but were used to divide water into its component elements oxygen and hydrogen gases. Hydrogen was reportedly used to drive flight. Hongshan the remains of an incredibly sophisticated ancient civilization were unearthed under the mountains in China. This is known as the Neolithic Hongshan civilization and has greatly influenced the following Chinese customs. The Hongshan people are now recognized around the globe for the artifacts that were discovered thousands of years after the civilization disappeared. Very little is known about the lives and livelihood of the Hongshan people. They inhabited ancient Mongolia between 4700 BC and 2900 BC. So far, archaeologists have found numerous ceremonial objects, priceless burial gifts and jade sculptures. All these artifacts were handcrafted by these people using either contemporary tools or knowledge. Sun Chariot The Trondholm Sun Chariot was found in a Danish bog. It's now regarded as a national treasure and as an unbelievable ancient artifact that has baffled modern scientists. The chariot was discovered in 1902 and soon after the rest of the bog was explored using metal detectors. This led to the discovery of 21 other parts of the sculpture that provided a detailed description of what it was. It actually dates back to 1200 BC and is of genuine Nordic origin. The horse and wheels are made of bronze, while the disc depicting the sun was also bronze, but it was inlaid with a sheet of gold. The 4800-year-old sculpture was made using the lost wax method and is regarded as the earliest Scandinavian example of horses being used as draw animals. The writings on this sculpture suggest that the sun disc may have served as a sort of calendar. Talkatum. 
This refined antiquated artifact was widely used as an astrological instrument until the 18th century. The Torquatum was invented by a 12th century researcher, but several ancient references and ancient Egyptian documents suggest that this device is much older. Three sets of astronomical coordination were measured using this device. One in regards to the horizon, the second at the equator, and the last one along the ecliptic. It's considered the first known analog computer. It was highly developed and could calculate relationships between coordinates on its own without the user doing anything. 17th century vampire Vampires are a subject of debate and superstition in the Slavic nations. They used to bury their dead with vampire repellent devices to ensure they didn't come back to feed on the living. The new remains on Earth in Poland include bones of an alleged 17th century vampire. The remains belong to a woman who was around 20 years old at the time of her death. She was buried in a dignified manner with her head resting on cushions. There were silk threads indicating she wore expensive jewelry. She wasn't ritually killed or interred with other women who'd been accused of witchcraft. She apparently belonged to a noble family, but for some reason everyone believed she was destined to become a vampire. Archaeologists assumed this as a sickle was discovered above her neck and there was a padlock around her toe. Before moving to number one on this list, take a look at this shocking find. Caves are places that evoke a whole lot of perceptions from people, but this image you are about to see will change the perception of caves altogether. The only thing we objectively know about this is that it is a cave. We also notice there is some sort of body resting in that hole. It's one of those photos you want to look away from, but can't. People think this is a case of cave diving gone terribly wrong. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. The Sinai Lead Plates The first time these plates were discovered was in a collection of historic relics in Romania around two centuries ago. Experts still haven't come to a consensus about whether these plates are genuine or fakes. The entire surface of the Sinai plates is covered with writing and illustrations, but they still haven't been translated. There are Greek letters, but they seem to be written in a completely foreign language besides that. More than 100 lead plates were discovered back in the day, but only 35 of these exist today. The original plates were allegedly cast from gold, but so far no one has discovered those. The language apparently originated from the Dakin tribe that inhabited the present-day Romania. Experts are still trying to decode these plates, but they still haven't had any luck up until now. These were some incredibly puzzling recent discoveries. Tell us in the comments which one fascinated you the most and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more. See you all next time.